going to use a spreadsheet now for measures of center and spread. Like every spreadsheet formula, we're going to start all of these with an equal sign. Equals. The mean, pretty much every spreadsheet in the world calls average. Even though it's not a statistically accurate term, that's what each spreadsheet does. I'm going to select all of the data that I want to take the average of. This is the number of representatives to the U.S. Congress that each state has. And my data is in column B, rows 2 to 51. I hit enter, and it shows up that it's selected the average of B2 to B51. I'm actually going to copy this B2 to 51 so that I don't have to drag each time. Standard deviation is another built-in spreadsheet function. And you notice that two options come up the population standard deviation or the sample standard deviation. In this case, I have the entire population, so I will use the population version also on the same data. Minimum, median, maximum are all built-in functions. Min, median, and maximum. Again, always starting with an equals. Quartile, you can get several ways. You can get it by percentiles, but newer spreadsheets have quartile built in as well. And the quartile version that we're used to is this inclusive quartile, the second one down here. That's the one that we're using in uh, this class. You give it the range, and then a comma, and then you tell it which value you're looking for, the minimum, the first, the median, the third, or the maximum notice that we could have done all of these uh, five number summaries by choosing 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 here. But in this case, I'm doing the first quartile. And in this case, I'm doing the third quartile. The inclusive quartile, that same range, and the third. And there you have it. There are your measures of center and spread for this data done on a spreadsheet.